Hey guys, it's Tom again. In this one, uh, I wanted to talk about uh, Medicare um, because it was a, I just saw a vlog from uh, the Philippine Info channel. The guy, you know, uh, Steve, I think his name is, and he did a, a video concerning Medicare because one of I guess one of his viewers or subscribers was trying to, you know, talk to a congressman in Chicago. Actually, I think that's where the guy is from. Actually, I'm from Chicago as well. And um, uh, the, the one of the one of the senators, uh, Jackson, um, I think he's a senator or representative uh, right now. Um, but he was trying to contact him to see about, hey, why why don't we make it so that you know Medicare can be used outside of the United States and the and the territories, right? Like just in other countries, since you know people pay into it. You know, and then especially, I mean, you do kind of pay into it, right, throughout your life, just like you pay into, you know, your Social Security and all that. Um, and 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 guess what? It would it would actually be a good deal for the government because we could still pay the same amount. In other words, they take Medicare usually costs about a hundred and fifty bucks a month, okay, that they take out of your Social Security, okay. To, to cover Medicare A and B, I think it's A and B. When you're 65, now you don't don't forget, you know you don't qualify for this until you're 65, not 62. You have to be 65 to qualify for Medicare. You know, minimum 65 age. So, but why not? If you have a situation where you're you're still willing. There's a lot of us here that would be willing to pay that 150 a month, you know, out of our social checks, to cover to get that kind of medical coverage here, like in the Philippines, for example, or any other, you know, especially these Southeast Asian countries like Thailand and most of these countries in this area of the world are much cheaper. The medical costs are much cheaper than they are in the U.S. You know, I'm, I'm talking like without insurance, just what would the cost be for paying cash in both the U.S. for the same procedure or Thailand or the Philippines? Well, it's going to be much cheaper in Thailand and the Philippines, whether it's half the cost, whether it's a third the cost, a fourth the cost, whatever. But it's going to be much, you know, much cheaper. So why not have a situation where those are going to be the costs that are going to be incurred if you're using Medicare, if you're claiming a medical illness, you know, you're using it to cover a medical illness in an Asian country, well, the cost is going to be much less, you know, than it would be like in the U.S., you know what I mean, for the same Medicare. So in other words, they're going to be paying less out to, to cover these expats than they would be people that are, you know, regular Americans that are still living in the U.S., okay? But at the same time, I mean, unless, listen, if they made it less for us, if they said, oh, since you're living over there, we'll only take out 100 a month, hey, that'd be great. <laughs> but if they don't, and they said, well, no, I'm sorry, you're still going to have to, we're still going to have to take the 150 a month out. Most of us would say, okay, cool, you know, because <laughs> that's going to be for good medical coverage, you know what I mean? It's not going to, you don't have to worry anymore, you know, about, you know, self-insuring and stuff like that, or just fill health, which is more of a discount plan okay in the Philippines than it is like medical full medical coverage it's like 20 to 25 percent discount on medical care and stuff like that but it's not that's not the same as sort of covering everything you know except for maybe a thousand dollar deductible or something like that or whatever you know for example um, so yeah I, I think it's a great idea you know I think whoever's watching this you guys if you're still in the US Inquire to your congressman about this. You know, say, hey, you know, I'm thinking about living overseas, you know, and retiring overseas. So why don't we just, why can't we just make it so that, you know, we can use, we can still use our Medicare, you know, even in countries like the Philippines or Thailand or whatever, wherever you're going to retire to. And you could, you could say globally, right? Like, so, oh, yeah, make it good everywhere, you know. Well, that's unrealistic because, like, I don't know, like you're in Europe, they have, well, they have different programs. They have good, they have good medical coverage for their citizens in Europe. But if you went to like France or what, some, any country probably in Europe and you were just paying cash, 
it's probably not going to be that cheap. You know what I mean? It ain't going to be like Southeast Asia. You know, I would just be content if they just pick certain countries, certain low cost medical countries, and and probably Mexico would be included possibly, and maybe Colombia, right? Some other areas, some other expat hotspot areas would be included in this, but maybe probably not the whole world. Like I said, you know, Europe's probably pretty expensive, you know. So, but yeah, why not do that? You know, I mean, and like I said, these guys are still, they'd be, we'd all be probably, most of us, I think, would be willing to pay that 150 a month out of our Social Security checks to get that kind of medical coverage, you know. Uh, you know, outside, as we're living outside and retiring outside the U.S., right? So I think that's, that was a, a good video, you know, and I was like, yeah, I'll, I'll try it. He goes, he was even telling people, like other vloggers, like, hey, man, get out there and talk about this. You know, I was like, well, here I am. <laughs> I just watched that video, and, and I thought, yeah, that's a good idea. Let me spread let me spread the word, you know. So, um, yeah, get your congressman involved, man. You know, find out the contact information of your local congressman and ask them about this, you know. You know, really, I think that's a, I think it's just a great idea, and it would cost Medicare less money. You know what I mean? Because there's the the costs here are less, so they're not going to be paying out these huge amounts like they do within the U.S. You know, for medical coverage, they're not going to be paying these hospitals these huge amounts of money. You know, but yet, probably will still be paying the same. You know, one fifty a month or whatever. You know what I mean? So it just seems like a win win, doesn't it? You know, for us expats and for Medicare, it just makes sense to me because a lot of these guys, they're not gonna, they won't pay the 150 without being without the coverage. When they know that they're not gonna be able to use Medicare coverage in another country, that they're gonna retire in, then they don't even pay for it. You know what I mean? You know, they'll say, "Well, forget it. I'm just not gonna put that. I'm not gonna, you know, I'm not gonna let them take the 150 out. I'm gonna tell them to opt out of it." You know, so why not, like I said, it's a win-win. Why not continue to, yeah, we'll pay the 150 and then in exchange we get coverage in this country, you know, outside the U.S. or in its territories. I think it's a great idea. <laughs> I really do. And I'm, I'm sure I'm not alone either, you know. Um, all right, guys, that's all I want to talk about. I'm not going to take up too much of your time here. Um, please like, comment, subscribe. I really would appreciate it. And uh, that's, that's it, man. Have a good day. I'll see you later.